My name is Graham Smith. I'm a reporter for the Globe and Mail, and this is Tarnak Farms. There's not much here except rubble and a lesson about knowing your enemy. This is where Osama bin Laden planned the 9-11 attacks, and you would have thought that this would have brought a whole lot of attention to southern Afghanistan, to this particular place. And it did. A lot of American forces came here and hunted around for Arabs. But the Americans didn't pay a whole lot of attention to the local extremists, the Taliban. When I was here in 2005, an intelligence officer told me that the way that he tries to figure out who's uh, for or against the Americans is by flying a helicopter around and seeing who shoots at him. And unfortunately, it hasn't gotten a whole lot more sophisticated since then. So we can't even agree, really, on, on who the Taliban are, what to call them. Taliban, neo-Taliban, anti-government elements, armed opposition groups. We can't even have a name for the insurgency, much less agree on who they are. Unfortunately, this level of ignorance makes it hard to know who to kill, who to talk to, and how to stem the flow of recruits to the insurgency. But researching the Taliban is not easy. I was in Quetta trying to talk to insurgents, and, and one of them uh, joked with me, he said, oh, don't worry, don't worry, we won't kill you. We'll just kidnap you and sell you, which was not terribly reassuring. And those kind of clandestine meetings don't really tell you a whole lot anyways. So I decided to try a survey. I got a small video camera, gave it to a guy I've known for quite a long time here in Kandahar, and he went around to five districts around the province and uh, asked a standard list of 20 questions to ordinary fighters. And to be honest, it wasn't a perfect exercise. Uh, in some cases, we had trouble getting the, the video camera through police checkpoints or Taliban checkpoints. So we ended up using a, a little cell phone camera, which recorded these sort of smaller, scratchier videos. Um, and in some cases, you know, when you ask Taliban uh, how they get their money, it, it doesn't really tell you very much because uh, they just don't say very much about their own financing. So in some, in some cases, it wasn't very enlightening. But by asking the same 20 questions over and over, some patterns started to emerge. You started to see some trends. We started to learn about the opium business, about their politics, about the way they see the world. And once in a while, a little bit of poetry even came through as well. Our website has the entire survey with English translations and transcripts. I encourage you to go on and, and look around because it's important to understand who Canada is fighting in this war. I'm gonna make